Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. We are back for Wednesday's Guild War. We are against Dynasty. When it's spelt wrong, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they are rank 196. We are rank 113 today. We are winning. We have okay damage on forts. Ignore the fact that everybody's inting into this fort and that I'm going to join them. But yeah, we're going to try and hit these forts to see how it goes. So we're going to be boring on the first team and we're going to run Zahak. And hope that our Zahak Sinjelica Watcher Shuri comp is fast enough to get the turn in on the... The boy, the Rylet, before he takes a turn. And if it is, we kill him, and then Shuri's safe. If it's not, then we don't kill him, and Shuri's not safe. Then when Shuri gets to take his turn, we hopefully kill the, the that, and then we just win, is the idea. And the second team, we're going to run a Summertime Isaria, ran Edda comp into this. There's been a lot of people in into this, so I'm really worried about like how badly it'll go. But the idea is to soul burn with Ran. To get the the full strip off of everything. And then just pray that Edda can stun the mid Chloe. And then we get bombs and that we do stuff and win. Because all we can do is pray. On that one. Because we've had... We're faster than the Rylet by a lot. Okay, that's good. We've had no info on that second tower whatsoever. So I have literally zero clue on whether or not... Um, I should get in front of the Spellion. I literally have zero clue whether or not the maid is fast, the Straza is fast, anything slow, fast, anything, right? I have no, I have no clue. All of it is a mystery to me. So we got sort of lucky there, though, to be honest. They should hopefully push Shuri in front. Yeah. They should hopefully kill. It might not. The attack buff should be good, though, right? Yeah. Okay. We got it. A little bit scary, but. I only, I only slightly didn't have faith, I'll be honest. Nice and simple, though. Right. That's a really fast op sig, right? I can see why people are losing this. That's like a 250-260 speed op sig. Which is very, very scary. And I can understand why people are losing to that. That killed the Stras. That's good. She got defense broken and bombed. That's even better. That stunned her as well. Right. Let's try and get another bomb on the mid. We don't need it. We'll try anywhere. What is origin? Bomb. Cool. And then detonate them and win. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh. That was a lot less stressful than it was turning out to be during the the prep set, the prep phase of all this. Thank God. If that had been much worse than that, I'd have cried. But at least I know now why people are losing to that fight. That op sig was like 260 speed, so that was like very spooky. But one down, two to go. There's another fort that's burning, if I remember right. So we'll probably go hit that one next, or at least look at it and see how we feel about it. And then go from there. So on to the next tower. Second fight. So we're going to hit this one. These units are geared. It's not like this guy is trolling completely, but he is like trying to make it look like he is a little bit, I guess. Um, so we're going to hit this with a team that I think is going to work, but I'm not sure if it will because I don't know if I have enough damage. I'm like, I'm a bit like on edge, right? Because there's been one loss to it and it makes me a bit nervous. But we're essentially going to run the same teams as last, uh, last tower, but we're putting T Croze and Milim with Ran. The idea is that Ran is going to do his skill 2, skill 3 bullshit, do big damage, kill at least the Angel of Light Angelica because her base stats at level 5 are like pitiful, so she should die to the amount of damage I have on Ran, ideally. And if she doesn't, I'll be impressed, honestly. If she doesn't die to Ran, I deserve to lose. That's the best way to look at it. If Ran can't kill her, I deserve to lose. And then we just hope that T. Crozier can help me clean up with Millen. And then the second team, we're going to just like stick with the same team we did last time because I don't want to think anymore because I'm already bored of thinking. Uh, Sinful Angelica, Zahak, and Watch Shuri. The idea is that Sinful Angelica takes the turn as soon as she can. She gives me the buffs. 
we kill the Violet, we get a turn on Shuri, we kill the that because they'll both be stealthed, and then we kill the that and then we win. If we lose, we lose. Again, I I mean, this one I can be blamed for inning, but I can't be blamed for inning because the rest of the war is in it, so. And we don't need to sell ban here. Right, so their gear is that they're fast. That makes sense. We don't need to sell ban here, so we don't. This should kill the AOL. Should. Yeah, definitely. 100%. She's dead. This is what we was worried about, but this is why we brought protection. Yeah. More than fine. Then we can just point him and win. We didn't need to be anywhere near as panicked as we were. Like, at all. I knew she was going to die, but there was like a small part of me that was worried that she was going to be full tank and not full speed. Alright, this will do nothing. This will also do basically nothing. I should have changed Angelica's their buffs, actually. Or whatever. It's fine. Because it's Angelica, but it does nothing to her because she's got like too much ER. Unless she's like a 300 speed, a 300, like a 300 effectiveness thing. We do this, and we unfortunately, because we got hit on the Earth unit by Pera, because you do. Oh, never mind, we're alright. I was going to say, because we got hit on the Earth unit by Pera, we lose, because we don't get rid of the unbuffable, but we got rid of the unbuffable. So, that's that dead. Oh, look, she's stealthed, and she's stealthed, so I guess we get to kill this one. Goodbye. I mean, I guess we get to kill them both, actually. Even better. Yeah, two towers down. Not too bad. That was a nice, quick, simple fight. I'll see if I can find something interesting to use in the final fight, I guess. Because I've been using the same stuff as I always use. But it's just been a nice, simple sort of setup today. With a couple of weird uh, potential failures that we haven't hit. Which is quite nice. So, yeah. Two down, one to go. Onto the third tower. Let's see if we can find something fun to do, hopefully. We are back for the third round. I am going to click that real quick because I need to. So, we're going to hit this tower. He has hit me and beat me because he decided that it was a good idea to use Triple Earth versus my Chew, which is correct. Um, so, for the final fight, we're going to use Alencia to kick the, the child until the child is, is like, injured very badly. We're going to use Doris to protect us from the child. And we're going to use the hack to kill the, the grip. Because that's how this goes. Uh, turn that up a little bit as well. You may actually be able to hear the music in the background now. Uh, yeah, it's the final fight. And you might notice that Cigarette is built, sort of, for PvP. And that is because we have done this earlier today and it was working fine. So I'm sticking with it for now. Um, I will not get this video up today. So there's no point in me saying this. But I'm going to say it anyway. But... If I do manage to somehow upload this today, make sure if you want this character, you finish the summer side story, the summer and the sword of the wind of the summer lord of the whatever the fuck it's called. The Alexa side story. Finish it today. Today's your last chance and it's gone for a year. And if you don't get it done like today, you don't get this Alexa. Because you need to beat the side story to get this Alexa. So again, pointless because it's probably not gonna be uploaded until the day after. But I'll try, specifically, to get this one up early. But anyway, so I'll go back to Sigrid. Go through her again. As we can. So we, like, rebuilt her. She's got some okay gear. Like, I'd like a bit more attack. The crit damage is sort of fine. She's, she's alright. Like, she could be better, but I think she'll be fine. We've got Celine, because there's a mid Chloe. And why not? She's just gonna, she's gonna do stuff. And we've got Flan to push the Sigrid, so that Sigrid can kill the stuff and the things, and we win, is the idea. So, let's see how badly this goes. I am expecting to, to win the second one, but I'm probably going to lose it because I'll have forgotten something. But yeah, Sigrid can be used in a few different places now, so I'm quite happy with that. Because I wanted to use it. I wanted to, like, rebuild her for a while so she wasn't just set as a, a wooden slave forever, but... It's always been, like, a bit of a... A bit of a struggle. But we should be good now. He's dead because he's got no protection. Literally nothing can cover for him, so he don't get to live. Uh, we just uh, kick her in the mouth because we can. Defense break, thanks. Ah, jeez, Rick. It looks like she's lost about 40% of her life in one turn. That's a real shame. 
Uh, this fight is very losable because she's got Miss Confile, so... We should be fine, though. Right, let's full heal Doris. We're easily fine because she doesn't have um, Guiding Light on this, so... Instead of killing the Ravi off a bit more, we just get rid of her so she doesn't kill Doris. Because even though the Ravi can counterattack me to death... Like, uh, well, I mean, she's actually dead the second I touch you with Zahak now. Um, I'm just going to do this to Doris. Oh, you bitch. It's, she's still dead, though. This will do, like, 14k damage, and if it doesn't, it's going to put a low enough for her to die to Alencia anyway, so... Oh, come on! I wasn't wrong, it did do 14k damage. How does it feel to be injured to death? Can't feel good. I love Alencia, she's so good. Right, so the Straz is fast, that is sort of to be expected. We push Sigrid. We extinct the Straz. Do we extinct the Straz? We have to extinct the Straz who's going next. We extinct the Straz. Right, so he can't be revived, but Rem can be killed. Oh no, Rem came back to life. Anyway. It's not exactly the tech I wanted to run, but it's still good tech. I wanted to kill both of them with Sigrid, and then when they got revived, have um, Extinct one kill the other, and then when they got revived, have... I just double debuffed her. Um, have Selene kill the other one with a, an instant counter, but I didn't have Sol burn for that, so bye. Okay, maybe not bye. Bye? Okay, maybe not bye. Bye? That's not going to kill. I don't know why I said bye there. Now it's bye. See you later. There you go. Not too bad. We got to use Sigrid as well, which is all I wanted. Like, I've been waiting to fucking pull Sigrid into a guild war for a while, but she's always been on the rage set for Wyvern, and I've never really wanted to try and get her from 130 speed up to a point where she can do anything in any fight ever, so... Hopefully, with her being geared like this, I can use her in more places and have more fun with her, because it's been a while since I've, like, actually used Blue Sig, so... Yeah. And that is all for the video today. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Gold War fights. We'll be back on Friday for the end of week Guild War. Hopefully that'll go decently as well. We'll see how it ends up going, like, I guess, at that point. And hopefully we've got something else built or usable by then that's new and interesting, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, until the next one, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the fights, and I shall see you in, well, on Friday, I guess.